What is up, everybody? Jonathan here. Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, it's going to get warmed back up with our vending machine app. Uh, I just want to show you where we're at so far. We've got our dashboard that shows our machines. We have our products. We can add products to our dashboard, and then we can see the products associated with with each machine, which is uh, Erna with each. Uh, well, no, we we don't have the view yet of of which products are associated with each machine. So that's something we're gonna have to add, but but I'm gonna get warmed back up into this series and we're gonna add a little fav icon to this to this project. So uh, let's dive right into it. We've got a uh, chat GPT here. How do I add a fav icon to my Express.js product? First, we have to NPM install and serve fav icon, which is going to be uh, done like this in our project file. Oh gosh, I don't wanna do that. We're in our project file, and then we type in uh, npm install serve dash icon. That adds it to the little manifest thing. Installs the middleware. sudo npm install serve icon. That will work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Permanently fix this problem. Please run. some vulnerabilities anyway let's hope that works and then add the middleware to our express.js open up your app.js or index.js file and require to serve this and then restart the app okay that makes sense and we're going to go back to app.js um, i don't know where to put this precisely but probably should be like uh, maybe around here you know, and then our fav icon is where? It's in public. And we're going to copy. Oh, shoot, that didn't work. We're going to maybe put the rename button. We're going to copy that. And now we have this. And then we can do that. And we can click save. And we can rerun Node.js. And now we have a fab icon. Wow, that's so cool. That's easy. All right, so mission accomplished. We've loaded up a fab icon for our project here, quite simply, just using uh, this uh, chat GPT, just npm install serve dash fab icon. And then we created this variable fab icon that requires this, which corresponds to that, evidently, and then app.use, and then this. Then we grab our directory name, and then we add it to plus favicon.ico. But we've changed it, right? Don't forget, because we it depends on what your uh, the name of your favicon is, because we're using the PNG. So thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, let's get on to the next the next step. Let's keep on going.